So we're in the uh, Tawak Valley, which is the foothills of Mount Knobles in Orange, New South Wales. I grew up on a farm about 40 minutes away. My wife and I, we've been looking for a, a site out of town for quite a number of years and we came up to this location behind the dam that's there and looked at the view and thought, well, this is it. I guess this one here was different because it was uh, going to be the first house that my wife and I built together. So we had a pretty sort of clear idea of what we wanted. We wanted to provide a, a relaxed environment where we could take in the surrounding views. Plenty of space because we've got three boys. Kids were extremely keen to have, have a pool, yeah. We had a pool at our previous house and uh, we found the climate of orange was just too cold. So having it indoors allows us to hit the pool with a heat pump and we can get sort of almost 12 months of the year swimming rather than two or three months. The build period was over two years. The best description would be a, a juggle between uh, priorities which are your clients that are paying and your own project. My wife sent me a photo today of where the excavation was at uh, this day four years ago and it's quite extraordinary when you look at the, the site cut that was done. We've basically excavated the entire hillside out, so the excavation process was around six months. There were some uh, technical challenges in relation to the structural steel that we had to incorporate in the design. You can see that we left a lot of it exposed because it was a shame to cover everything up. We chose to put large lengths of cedar around the reveals. So we had to go to a joinery shop in town and then we had to have them delivered to site, which Taberna's provided a, a truck to do so. And then had to cut them up on site and fit them to the windows. But throughout the process, we had plenty of direction from Taberna's as to how to make the subsoil trucks work. And piecing it all together was not difficult at all. Yeah, it was a pretty big factor in the thermal sort of efficiency of the home. So hence the reason we went double glazed with all our windows. Given that we've got uh, a lot of westerly facing windows, air conditioning does become a bit of a priority sort of late afternoons in summertime. But the balance of that is that we get fantastic sun in the afternoons in winter time and it warms the house. Because the ceilings are rake ceiling pitch of around eight degrees, it enables us to be able to use natural breezeways to let the hot air out in summertime without having to, to use air conditioning because the high windows are electrically, electrically operable. I mean, I think from a builder's point of view, I mean, you love to look back and see a project that works well and, and operates efficiently. I think on any project that uh, windows can really make or break a job, so I don't think it's an area that should be skimped upon. The part I love most about it is when you wake up in the morning, the views are, are just tremendous and the windows allow us to encompass all those views. 